I want to make this video based off of the things to do during the moon cycles. Let's start out with Aries. So when the moon's in Aries, it's a wonderful time to like exercise. Go sing, do something physical, um, inertia. Um, like don't stay and watch TV, go out side and, 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 and run and, and walk and travel and things along that line, especially because it's um, very emotional. So it can help us relieve off of that emotional um, side to Aries during that time. Moon and Taurus, plant a garden, go outside in nature, um, sit in a nice comfy chair and read and do something stable, arts and crafts project, doing things with your hands, um, meditation, eating, cooking, all those things like that, painting. Moon and Gemini, speaking, um, going online, um, reading, learning, getting to know other people. Moon and Cancer, journaling, talking about our focus, that, um, you know, the, the spiritual practices, so meditating, praying, all those things like that. Really, really spending time with family and confessing what we feel and how we feel. When the moon's in Leo, um, you know, watching a play or a drama, or people expressing themselves, um, you know, dressing up, um, you know, getting out and being the center of attention, putting on a show, making a video, all of those things like that for the moon and Leo, playing. Uh, with the moons in Virgo, um, exercise, um, diet when the moons in Virgo, um, and, um, you know, really, really, you know, look at the organization structures, maybe you're reading some self-help books for Moon and Virgo. Uh, Moon and Libra, spend time with whoever you have, be it family. But, uh, you know, Libra is all relationships and not just people as well. It's, you know, about things in the world as well. So um, the arts, singing. Um, fashion, um, grace, dancing, um, you know, many different types of things like that. Um, you know, stories about people and relationships when the moon is in Libra. And really, really resolving uh, any conflicts that we have when the moon is in Libra. So, you know, Leo expressing itself, Virgo getting organized, Cancer you know, feeling, expressing emotions, Gemini talking, communicating, um, learning, um, Taurus, you know, slowing down, steady, Aries, you know, um, you know, physical inertia. Um, Scorpio, meditating, looking at psychology, um, getting deep, um, emotional stories like watching I Survived, watching shows like Paradise Lost, shows and biographies about people who were Plutoized like Hitler. Um, and really, really, um, you know, um, getting deep, finding security. Moon and Sagittarius, learn about ancient history, learn about new cultures, go outside, travel, um, wonderful things to do during um, um, a moon and set. And, and again, these are just general recommendations. Philosophy, um, learn, you know, Buddhism uh, and things like that, even meditation, even spirituality, permission to feel free. Uh, moon and Capricorn, Look at your career. Let's get serious. Purpose. Decisions of what is best to do. Getting things done. The best way to do it is to do it. Doing things. Like grounded results when the moon's in Capricorn. Moon in Aquarius. Humanitarian focus. 
um, reading, looking at historians, looking at um, philosophers, looking, you know, being open-minded, learning about different types of people, different uh, ethnicities, things of that nature. And looking at current events or what's going on around the world right now. Moon and Pisces, meditation, um, writing as well. Um, reading different stories, watching movies, playing video games, um, and getting out in nature um, as well, and letting ourselves just go with the flow and be spiritual beings first. Those are all of the moon placements and recommendations of what to do during those moon placements. Not that you have to, but going along with the science as well. Thank you for watching, everyone.